move on to our next topic which is basically sale range now the sale range or range of sales also sometimes is called as a block of sales it uh, implies a group of adjacent sales that forming a rectangular area so if i select from i to o column this one this one is the range sale range or range of sale is basically it's collection of group of adjacent cells you can see the collection of group of adjacent cells that forming a rectangular area so this is basically called a cell range now let us learn how to select a cell range now the steps that we follow to selecting a cell range first click on the cell click on the cell from where you want to select start the cell range so I am here I wanted to select the sale range from A2 this one is the sale address A2 from A2 to G6 this one is the last sale address so I wanted to select the sale range from A2 to G6 and that is basically written like this A2 there is a colon there and G6 so a sale range basically look like this A2 from G6 this is the starting sale address and this one is the last or ending cell address so basically I wanted to select our cell range from A2 to G6 so in that case first I will click on the cell A2 and now pressing the left mouse button I'll drag the pointer towards the cell G6 and when I arrived at uh, the cell G6 after this I will release the mouse button now see here the cell range this is the selected cell range from A2 to G6. Now you can name the cell range also. So after selecting the cell range, if I click on this name box, this is the name box. Now I can give a name here. I can write the name. Suppose this is I'm writing marks. So I'm naming this range as a marks and hit the enter button from the keyboard. So whenever you select that range see now this one it already displays marks so this is how we can select the cell range and uh, we can name our cell range the another method for naming a range of sales so first what that we have to do that uh, we have to first select the sale range with the same process we have to select the sale range and after selecting the sale range move on to the formula step this one move on to the formula step and inside the formula step and under the defined name group you can see here under the defined name group there is an option exists defined name so here click on the drop down list and from there select the defined name option a new name dialog box will appear to your screen a new name dialog box that will appear to your screen now in the enter name enter the name enter the name for the range that you have selected in the name field so here I am writing yes I have given I have written the name in the name field now you can be able to see the reference of the selected range of sales in the refers to field here so basically the range of sales that is the, this is the beginning sale address a2 this one is the a2 and the last sale address is will be obviously g8 so this one is the last sale address you can also edit this one according to your choice so whenever you've done this editing just click on the OK button yes and so we have already given yeah this one a mark sheet this is the also name that we have given to the given or selected cell range so there is another process this one is the another method with the help of this we can naming a range